so as I said, power cord's hooked up, air hose is connected here on the back. Uh, kind of hopefully the generator and the compressor aren't gonna be too loud today. They come out of your machine, hit the power button, and this it's a push to stop, so you twist to uh, turn it on. You'll see everything light up. Here it comes. So now see that coming on, and then down here. You have your chiller and your heater for your coolant. You kind of hold, press and hold, you hear a beep a little bit, and then your run light will start blinking. That's how you know that your coolant system is on and uh, operational. If you don't have the coolant system turned on, your coolant system alarm right here, that will flash red at you and it won't let you operate. Uh, you've got a blowing alarm if something's going on and with your blowing system and it's not operating properly. You got a laser alarm is something with the laser source itself isn't working. Um, a galvo alarm, I assume that's if something in the gun head uh, with the mirrors isn't working right. Uh, I have never had that one trip. Your lock is if you uh, make it so that the machine uh, can't, somebody can't just walk up, grab the gun, and start firing away on it. Your temperature one, that is the temperature at your lens head, I believe. Uh, first, I thought it was the temperature of the machine itself, but I have been corrected and told it's the temperature of your gun. So, then this is going to be on cleaning mode. You've got different parameters you can set in here. Those are handy. It does save in between uses. So, that's a fun one. Today, we're going to go over here to four because I've got one, two, and three set up for doing some aluminum work. We're going to do it on some basic steel. I've got this trailer here that needs completely refinished, so... That's just what we're going to test on and do some cleaning with. So we're just going to go with the nice, uh, nice start pass. We'll go 15,000 scan speed. That's going to be your laser going back and forth coming out of the gun. Laser power, uh, we probably should need more than 800. This is fairly rusty, but not super bad. Laser frequency, I like what 2,500 gives me. It's a nice, fairly smooth finish. Uh, 5,000 is going to be really smooth. That's what I use on aluminum. Uh, laser duty 100% and then the scan length that's how wide you're going to go with this three in one gun it's going to have a max width of 80 millimeters on it so you can go all the way down to 10. Um, so stop cleaning here if it says ready for cleaning this is machine is active ready to fire stop cleaning that is machine is won't fire right now if you pull the trigger nothing's going to happen so that's a little bit of your safety right there uh, if we go in here to system settings and we go authorization you'll see where it says clean 80 millimeters here if we tap that we have to put a password in it is 666 666 that's six sixes hit enter and this is where you can choose what machines you're going through if you're putting on the welding or cutting you're going to go to that mode the cleaning at the 80 and the cleaning is the 150 that's if you have a gun for that. This gun is not set up for that, so you really only have the two modes. So we'll hit cancel for now because we don't need to do anything. We'll hit return. And I'll go grab my glasses and set up the camera stand and we'll do a little bit of cleaning. All right, guys, got my glasses grabbed. Getting ready. One thing I forgot to mention is we're in system settings here. You'll see this double click to laser on enabled. So that means when you go to start using the laser and you go to press it when you pull this button here nothing happens all that first push does is gets it ready to uh it starts blowing air so you click it a second time kind of like you're going to double click on something on a computer click it a second time and that's when your laser will come on you can set your uh gas delays i just left them stock where they are this permission here that is that lock that I was telling you about on the beginning. If we hit that, we turn it on and we return. You'll see the lock and then you can't use the machine. Even if you turn it on to cleaning, that lock is still gonna keep it off. It's a nice little safety setting if you've got kids that happen to walk up around you or say you're out uh, at a show and you're trying to do like some examples to try to get business or anything like that. And your language, I'm dang sure not pushing that button because I don't want to struggle trying to get it back. So go back to return and see if we can get some things cleaned here so again we're gonna have a red dot there you guys can kind of see it right in the middle of that jack 
So that's going to let you know where you're aiming. Double click that. Oh, I'm silly. I forgot to hit stop cleaning. So hit stop cleaning. She's ready to go. I'll be honest, I do that more often than I should. So come over here. We got our red dot there. So that's actually giving us a pretty nice clean to start with. I actually think I might bump that power down just a little bit. Well, I don't know, we'll leave it for now. This is just a utility trailer. Just gonna be used to haul my mower around, so I don't need it to be beautiful. I just need it to not be rusty. So we'll go ahead and keep cleaning with this. So like I said, uh, you're, you got a nice focal distance here. It's gonna be roughly, I don't know, probably 17 inches i think is what i heard 16 17 inches but the way that you'll find your if you're cleaning at the right distance if you feel like man i have a lot of high power settings set on this and you know, i've got it set at 1500 watts and i'm just not cleaning but you're way up here you're not going to be anywhere near your focal length for your lens so see it's not there as you come back it'll get brighter you can hear it get louder and you keep going You'll hear it start to get quieter. So where it's the brightest and the loudest are right in here. That's where you want to be cleaning at because that's where you're getting the max efficiency out of your gun. So as you guys can see, these machines make awesome work of surface rust, of paint, primer. I've used it for mill scale on the inside of wheels. Uh, like these tires on here were dry rotted and no good when I started, when I bought this trailer. So I had to replace the tires. So I just went ahead and cleaned the wheels up, cleaned the inside. They were probably 30, 40 year old wheels that had never been cleaned before. They had like three coats of paint, primer, a ton of brake dust on them machine handled it no problem so once we get a little further into this project here we'll pull the tires back off so we don't hit them with the laser i don't need brand new tires getting messed up already because we were too lazy to pull the tires off and so that's kind of your general operation of the machine we'll go through a couple different power settings you guys can see how it'll clean a little smoother or you can make it rougher like that um, so let's go ahead and go to the machine here Move the gun out of the way it does have a holder on the side here kind of sits just like that so let's go down so say we don't need that much power let's do it on like 400 we'll take it at 15,000 still it's kind of a good medium and if you're wanting a nice smooth finish actually let's just go to 12 20,000 so say you want a nice smooth finish you can turn your power way down if you don't know kind of how your material is going to react turn your power down at 100 you know start at 20,000 millimeters a second 5,000 hertz and then just go from there and see slowly move your settings up because you can always make something rougher it's a whole heck of a lot harder to make something smooth so let's see as you can see here we turn that scan speed up the power down and our frequency up takes a whole lot longer to clean. It will still get it clean. It just takes a little more time, a little more patience, going over it a few times. Kind of go in and out a little bit, figure out where your link, your focal length is. Kind of the nice thing about these is with using a laser, you can see exactly when you've got all your paint and rust off or anything. There's no really cloud in your vision. And you can see how that rust and stuff will kind of flame up a little bit when the laser hits it. Also, it's a good indication to know when your surface is clean. So over here, there's very little happening. That'll probably be hard for you guys to see on camera, but this is a lot smoother finish than what we have over here. 
However, this was significantly faster. Will I clean the whole trailer with this setting or this setting? It's gonna be a heck of a lot closer to this one because as I said before, this isn't the show trailer. It's not being, uh, you know, cleaned up to sell to anybody. It's gonna be cleaned up, a couple welds fixed on it, and gonna be made good enough because I don't need something extremely fancy just to haul my mower around. No biggie on that, so appreciate you guys watching, and uh, see you guys in the next video. Uh, we'll probably do a little bit of cutting work on it. Got a couple bolts on here that need cut, so we can showcase that. Uh, we'll use a couple of, we'll go over supplies that you're going to need for the cutting and the welding, because you get use a different gas in that video, but we'll worry about that then. Y'all have a good one.